Okay, hi everybody. Today I'm gonna walk you through um, a paint tutorial. We're gonna paint a fungal cell wall. So all you need is some canvas and some paint. I'm gonna use paint pens because it's neater. So first we're gonna start off with our fungal cell wall. We're gonna start off with the cell membrane. And just like any other cell that has a cell membrane, um, it works the same. So it serves to separate the cell from its external environment and to regulate the movement of substances across the cell membrane. So, I'm going to use a black paint for that. And we're going to just draw this lovely cell wall. It is a phospholipid bilayer, so I am going to show that there are no breaks in the membrane. Okay. Here you are. Here is the cell membrane. So the next square is chitin. And chitin is a long chain polymer of N acetylglucosamine. And it's a derivative of glucose. And you can find chitin in other places. You can find it in the exoskeleton of like some other insects. And chitin is held onto the cell membrane by anchor protein. So I'm going to mix the paint a little bit so that you can see the anchor proteins. This is our layer of chitin. It's yellow. You can kind of see right here where I mixed the paint so you can see the anchor proteins. And next we have alpha and beta glucans. So um, the glucans are molecules that are glucose molecules that form cross links with the chitin and they serve sort of like a matrix and it helps provide a little bit of rigidity to the cell wall. So I'm going to use green for alpha and red for beta. And now you can see the alpha and beta glucans, and this would be like the matrix in the fungal cell wall. And the last layer is mannan proteins. So um, on top of the glucans, you have glyco glycosylated proteins that contain mannose. That's why they have the name mannan proteins. So they aid in cellular defense and cellular attachment. So I'm going to use blue to represent the mannan proteins. Here are the mannan proteins. And because I want my glue cans to actually touch my mannan proteins, I'm going to go back and add a little extra paint on some of them so that you can actually see that.
And here it is, our finished fungal cell wall.